In this video, I'm going to show you how to import and use the free templates from the Royal Add-ons for Elementor plugin. Before I go to the computer screen, I'm going to ask you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. So that's it. Let's get to the tutorial now. So come on, you're going to go into your WordPress admin panel. You're going to go to plugins, add new, then you'll search here for Royale. This one, Royal Elementor Add-ons, is where you click install and then activate. Click here on allow and continue. That's it. Now the widgets and templates will be available to you. This plugin has a lot of features and later I want to make a video just showing you the widgets. I've already made other websites here teaching you how to use some parts of it. But today I'm just going to show you the templates. Okay, so here in templates kit, see? It brings us right here. It shows the various templates that are available to us. So there are some that are paid for, you have to pay to use them, and there are many that are free, okay? And so we can find out which one it is. There's this filter up here, see? Here it is in the price section, it's mixed, right? It says that there are both free and paid options here. Then you can just change it to free, and it will only show the ones that are free. And so there are some free ones that are very pretty. Look at this one, for example, it's really cute. You can see the whole website. They always leave the model of each of these templates online for you to see. Here, for example, you can click see, then you can click down here on preview demo and you'll go to their template. This is exactly what will be available to you, editable with Elementor, okay? And it's Elementor free. Look how pretty this whole set of images is, see? So they do all this with their own widgets, their add-on, which has lots of widgets. And here from start to finish from the header, the pages. When there are websites with more pages, it comes with all the pages. For example, this one, see? It has several pages. There's the home page, which is this one. There's this one, which is the books page, right? There's this one, benefits. There's this other one, authors. There's also the blog page already set up here and the single post page, right? That's for each post. This one, which is a news website, check it out. I'll click on the preview here so you can see. It brings up everything beautifully, even with the little search here. Let me search for something that's written there. Settings. See? There's even that little search that appears here for us. This little menu here that's ready. Everything, everything, everything that's here on the screen, it's already there. Then it goes like this with everything that's there and then you modify it. In the case of this one, it even comes with these generic posts. See, these posts here, they're just, for example, to show you the layout. There's all this unrelated text here, right? A little text here that has nothing to do with it and everything goes, the images, the texts. And then you can just go and replace the title, the image, the text, you know? Oh, and there are lots of them. There's a landing page. There's even a store. Look, let's see a store here. Oh, this one, for example, is a store. See, we click on the preview and it shows it to us. Oh, there's a banner. There's the little cards here. Look, there are other banners here. If you click on it, you can see what the page looks like. This is the page inside. It's all set up, see? Then you can see the other pages too. There's the contact page. There's the shop page. There's a little menu here. And this is the store page. There's a little filter here that's made with its own widgets. I'm going to choose the one we saw here, which is the news website. Look at that. I'm going to click on this one. And now I'm going to show you how to import it. You're going to click here on import template kit. You're going to click here on OK. Then it's going to load. It's going to install the plugins. Sometimes it needs extra plugins to do certain functions and they're all free plugins. When you need more, it will install them for you. Just wait for them to load. I clicked on translate to Portuguese and it's already showing here in the message. The import was successful by the time the little bar finishes, it's already successful. So if you visit the website, if you go to your website, you'll see that the template has been imported Oh, I'm already here on the home page. It's all here. In this case, it seems strange because it takes the image of the last post. And in our case, the last one is this hello world, which is the default. But let's... I'll delete it here. Oh, posts. All the posts. I'm going to delete this one so it gets the latest ones. 
That's it. See? And now it's taking the photo of the latest posts? That's because before it was taking the photo of the last one, which was this one, which we've just deleted, but it didn't have a photo, so it was going blank. See? Oh. So he's already included everything on the website, everything, everything that was there. So now if we want to edit it, we just have to edit it with Elementor. So here, as I told you in posts, all the posts, all the blog posts came. Then if you want, you can delete everything or you can click on edit here on top of each one and come here and edit the title, the text, the tag and everything. See, then you come here, edit the title, edit the text, come here. Here in categories, you can add a new category. You can delete the categories that are already here. The featured image, you come here, click on replace. Here in the home section, if you want, let me go back to the home here. If you want to change the layout that's here, just hover over edit with Elementor and go to the page. For example, this is a blog page. You hover your mouse here and click on customize blog. See? You've opened the page there, then you can edit it. It's all editable with Elementor. You come and set the colors here the way you want. See, if you want to change the color, you come here and change it. So it's all there, editable via Elementor. This one, in this case, I went to edit it like this. I hovered the mouse and saw this template here because it's a blog. But if it's an institutional website, for example, if you're on the home page, just click on it and it'll be here. It's always here in pages too, right? You come here to pages, all the pages, there will be the pages here, see? And in this case, it has four versions of home. When it has this repeated pages, it's because it gives you several versions of the home page, for example, to choose from. So this is one version. You click here and it shows you how it will look. This one is the second version, which is the one on the home page. Then there's this third one. which is a bit different, right? There are two little banners here. And then there's the little filter. And there's this fourth version here. Let's see. Okay, the banner is different too. There are four here. Four little banners of different sizes too. It's really nice. And then you can choose. If you think it's better, put it here on the home page. Anyway, it's all editable here for you with Elementor, all for free. As I showed you, there are also paid templates here. So you can come here to Royal Template and leave the premium here and then you'll see the paid ones and then you'll see that the paid ones have prettier layouts. They're more complete, right? Even the store ones are more complete. So sometimes it pays to pay the paid version. But if you think that the free version is enough for you, then you don't need it. You can just get a free one. Then you don't have to pay for anything. That's it, folks. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, follow me on social media. Cheers. See you next time. Bye.